Hey YouTube, what's up? So it just occurred to me recently that um, I've yet to do a video on um, making salt water and uh, mixing stations. Um, it's just it's one of those things I think that uh, one of those topics that doesn't really get discussed very often, um, and it's one of those things that kind of gets um, you kind of it's in the back of your mind, but you kind of tend to forget about it, um, especially once you're setting up your first tank. I've noticed um, most people, including myself, it seems like when you get you know you got your tank and the skimmer and you get the light and the stand and you you, you kind of got an understanding on what kind of fish and coral you want to uh, put in the tank. Uh, maybe you have live rock and then you know it gets to the point where you're finally ready to set up this tank and you kind of go wait a second you know I need the water you know and so I've, I've noticed most people um, at least at the place where I worked um, and the place before that as well um, many people just uh, will go the route of buying or renting um, however many five gallon water jugs it, it takes um, and just filling up the water at the store um, you know and that's one way to do it but um, it's very costly um, I mean, you got to figure, at least at my place, I think it was $1.50 uh, per gallon of salt water. Um, and even uh, for fresh water, I think it was 50 cents per gallon of uh, RODI. So, I mean, um, that'll add up after a while. And so, um, most people, um, once they've done it for a while, they just get sick of having to run up to the store. I mean, for me, it was 45 minutes away. So, um, especially if I didn't work there, having to run down there every time I needed to do a water change or even top off the tank, a lot of these people don't even have RODI units. Um, so really having a mixing station at home um, where you can set up salt water yourself, uh, or not set up salt water, but um, setting up a mixing station where you can actually um, synthesize salt water whenever you need it. Um, I, can't even, I can't even tell you how, how useful it is um, and how much money it saves you in the long run, especially if you're going to be doing this for a long time. And most of us plan on having salt water tanks for a long time. That's why we get into it. So. Uh, yeah, so as far as what do you need, um, a lot of people kind of get, you know, they kind of get scared off because they think, oh crap, you know, I have to have this trash can um, sitting in my bathroom and, and where am I, the RDI unit, you know, how does that even work? Um, I'm going to have to buy salt and that's going to be, have to sit somewhere, you know, in the meantime. So um, it's it's one of those things that people just kind of get scared away from, but I'm here to tell you it's so, it's so worth it and it's really um, not very complex at all. Um, I'm going to go over some of the things that I have here from mine and um, what you'll need for the average tank. Now, first, um, let me go over the, the actual unit uh, that, that will be holding the water. Um, most people go with trash cans um, or barrels. Uh, barrels are a little bigger, they're usually about 55 gallons. Um, most people go with the 55 gallon barrels. Um, and those take up a lot of room, so, and they're not very attractive uh, either. And when, you don't, when you're not using them, it's difficult, um, especially if you have the whole thing plumbed together to take it apart and maybe put it in your attic. Like for, for me, I put my stuff in my attic when I'm not using it or in a closet or something. Um, so, you know, it's really just depends on what kind of room you have um, and what kind of, what size tank you have. Let's say you have a 500 gallon tank, you kind of probably want a bigger uh, mixing station because that way when you do water changes, it's not gonna be, um, you know, five times, five, five, you know, filling up a 20 gallon tank five or six times so that you can make a water change that even makes a dent and the uh, nutrient level in your tank. So for me, uh, my biggest tank is a 60 gallon tank right now with a 28 gallon sump, a uh, 28 gallon tank, or I'm sorry, the 20 gallon tank. So really, um, I, I thought about, I thought, you know, for the 60 gallon tank at least, I'm gonna be doing 25% um, water changes every month, you know, ideally. Uh, and so that's gonna be 15 gallons. So I'm, I'm th I was thinking about it and I knew that being in the studio apartment, I'm not gonna have a whole lot of real estate um, to put a barrel or, or a trash can or um, and I'm not going to do the water jugs because that is a whole other problem in and of itself because of the small opening. It's very difficult to fill it up and put salt in and mix it and find a pump that's small enough to actually fit in there. Um, so uh, you know I, I wasn't going to go that route either. So I thought to myself if I could find a tank that holds the amount of water that I need, 15 gallons, and is somehow um, taller than it is wide, that would be perfect because like I said I don't have a lot of room. Uh, and I didn't want a, a huge footprint for a tank that's really not going to be even, you know, there's not going to be animals in there or anything nice to look at. So, um, and I wasn't sure how big the attic was going to be, so I didn't know if I was going to be able to even hide it. But anyway, so, sure enough, I go online, I find this thing, uh, this tank here. This is a 15 gallon tank, um, and it's, it's, I can't remember the exact dimensions. I want to say it's 12 by 12, and then the height is somewhere around 30 inches, something like that. But it was so perfect, so I went to PetSmart. Picked it out. It was like a Fourth of July sale. I spent eighty bucks on it. It has a light and has a hood and everything. 
And, and it's so perfect, I can't even tell you guys, because uh, like I said, the small footprint, number one, um, the size, of course, the amount of gallons it holds. Um, I love the hood, too. It does have a light, which I'm not going to use, you know, most likely, but um, it has ventilation and everything, and it has this, so it would be very, very simple just to uh, take some salt and pour it in there. And then the little opening in the back, perfect for an RDI line. Um, I also like that it stands off the uh, off the floor. That black plastic brace actually holds it up above the floor, which might help with the uh, vibration, you know, the noise coming from the vibrating pump. So, I mean, all in all, this is a perfect tank for what I needed it for. Um, so if you can find that, I just keep looking. I mean, they're out there. If you, if you have um, an idea of what kind of water changes you're going to be doing on your tank and how much water you're going to really need um, in the event of an emergency, um, definitely look into it because there are tanks out there. Um, if you want, you can get it custom made. Um, that's very. That's a lot more of an expensive route, but I mean, you can go that route if you uh, if you really want to do that. Like I said, trash cans and drums uh, and barrels tend to take up a lot of a lot of room. Um, they're not very attractive either, like I said. Um, but they're but they're on the cheap side, so you can really go uh, whatever route you want to go, as long as it holds the amount of salt water or fresh water that you need or that you're going to need on hand. Um, over here is my salt. You're also going to need that, of course. Um, I do reef crystals, Instant Ocean Reef Crystals, I'm a fan of that. Um, I've really, I've used this for years, I've never had a problem with it. Um, I'm not really doing much uh, SPS or anything like that. Um, I'm just not a big fan of that in the first place, so it's kind of, it, you know, it's perfect fish, inverts, um, you know, clams, softies, algae, stuff that I keep myself. So it's, it's perfect, um, it's fairly cheap. Um, if I were to do a large tank, um, I'm talking like 300 gallon plus, I probably would go with maybe a Red Sea uh, Coral Pro, um, just because I like the aspect. I like the fact that it's actually um, real, true, natural seawater um, that they extract. So I, I, you know that to me appeals to me. This is actually a synthetic, so I don't know. Just uh, do some investigating <clears throat> on what kind of tank you want to do, and what kind of salt's going to work out for whatever kind of tank you're going with. And yeah, of course, you're going to need a. Um, you're going to need a uh, measuring cup. Uh, let me pop this thing open. There you go, measuring cup. Um, just so I can measure the amount of salt I'm putting into the mixing tank. Uh, so that, there you go, tank, salt, measuring cup. Here's my ODI unit. It's, uh, it's on the floor right now just because I needed to, um, I was filling up my 60 gallon tank and I, the line wasn't gonna reach if it was sitting on the counter like it normally would. Um, so yeah, the, the ODI unit, I, I think I spent I want to say 200 bucks on this thing. Um, I, I think they might be cheaper now, actually. actually it's a four-stage uh, bulk reef supply RODI, uh, RODI unit, uh, but I love it. I mean, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, you know, don't go out and buy, you know, a $400 RODI unit just because it has a fancy name on it. I mean, bulk reef supply knows what they're doing, um, and they really do. Um, I like the, their, kind of the way they kind of interact with their um, clientele and everything, so that, you know, Awesome, awesome website, and they definitely know what they're doing as far as uh, RODI units go, <clears throat> water quality in general. So yeah, the black line is the waistline, that goes into the bathroom sink, the red line hooks up to my uh, kitchen sink, and then the blue line is the uh, clean RODI water that's filling up the tank there. Um, and you know, there's, there's different ways you can do it as far as getting the water from the mixing uh, tank to your display tank or your sump. Uh, now, most or a lot of people have the mixing station um, in a garage or in a shed out back or something like that, somewhere where it's kind of out of sight. Um, so it's a lot of times it's, you want it to be as convenient as possible, and you don't want to be lifting water jugs, you know, a million times within an hour just to fill up your tank, just to do a water change, maybe once every two weeks or once every uh, four weeks. Uh, for me, I have a million pumps lying around, so I went with this. Uh, Supreme Plastic Mag Drive covered in feather duster uh, skeletons, but this is the uh, Supreme Plastic Mag Drive 12, I believe. Um, and so that's basically, I'm gonna slide that in there. Um, not right now, just because I don't have the airline tubing yet, um, but once I do have a tube that'll fit onto this uh, properly, then I'm just gonna stick it in there. I actually bought a, um, a sound dampening pad, also from Bulk Reef Supply. I think I spent like two or three dollars on that. Um, just to keep again f from the, I don't want the noise and the vibrating noise, especially in my small apartment. I just, I, want, I don't want, I don't want to have to like, you know, go to sleep at night with that sound just humming, you know. So uh, sound damping pad and the pump. Um, any pump will work. Um, like I said, I just had this thing lying around. And I wanted to put it to use. Um, but yeah, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill that up with RDI, 
Um, put however much salt, I haven't read the instructions for the 15 gallons yet, I think it's uh, half a cup per gallon. Um, so it'd be, you know, half of, or 15 half cups for, uh, to, to make the 15 gallons of salt water. Pour that in there, I'm going to slide a Coralia uh, Evolution in there just to mix it. Um, and then once I'm done mixing it, um, I can usually give it about 24 hours. I'll put the sound dampening pad in, I'll put the pump in, I'll hook up the, uh, the tube. Um, plug it in and pump it directly into the tank. Simple as that. Um, it sounds like a lot. It might sound overwhelming, but it's really not, guys. I mean, once you once you do it, um, this whole setup. Uh, this is 80 bucks. Um, again, the barrels and, and the trash cans are much cheaper than that. But this was 80 bucks. Um, this was around I want to say 50 or 60 bucks uh, for I think it's 200 gallons that makes or 160 gallons I believe. Uh, the RDI unit was about 200 bucks. The pump, you can use any pump. Um, I mean, anything, even like the $30 range will work as long as it pumps the water, you know, to your tank. I mean, if, as long as it's a pump, yeah, it works. So that, I don't even know how much I spent on that pump, maybe 100 bucks. So, I mean, it's, it's not very expensive, and it'll save you a lot of money in the long run. You know, you're not having to run down to the store uh, every time you have an emergency or anything like that. So just, I, I definitely recommend looking into it, uh, Reef Central and places like that. Um, as long as you don't get stuck with an asshole that's going to talk down to you. Hopefully you'll stumble upon somebody out there that will actually help you out and give you some good information. So, yeah, uh, like the video if you like it. Please leave it. If you have any questions about uh, mixing salt water or creating a mixing station or anything like that, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, subscribe if you have it. If you have, I really do appreciate it, guys. And, uh, yeah, and this should, uh, this should take, to fill up, it should take about... Um, six hours so it's it's very slow but you know um, it does the job and I'm not in any hurry right now so yeah thanks for watching guys take it easy